hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created a new spring boot application and in today's video we will create a new database and after this we will write mysql and jpa configurations to connect our spring boot application with the db so let's get started so in our spring boot application first of all we will open form file and after this we will uncomment this jpa dependency and then we will refresh this file and as you can see our project sync got completed now we will open resources package and after this we will open application dot properties file and in this file we need to mention the properties to connect with the db and first of all we will mention mysql database properties and first of all we want to give the url of the database and to do this we will write spring.datasource.url is equals to and after this for the value we will use jdbc mysql and after this we need to give the environment and we will give this as localhost because we will run this project on our local machine and after this for the port we will use by default mysql port 3306 and after the port we need to mention the database name and we will give this as attendance underscore tracker and after the database url we need to give the database username and to do this we will write spring dot data source dot username and for me the mysql username is root and if you have any other username you should mention that here and after the username we need to give the password and to do this we will write spring dot data source dot password and i will give this as root as well and in the same way if you have any other password you should mention that here and after the password we need to give the driver class name so spring boot should use that driver to connect with mysql and to do this we will write spring dot data source dot driver class name and after this for the value we will write com dot mysql dot cj dot jdbc and after this we will write dot driver and with this our mysql database configurations are completed now we need to give jpa configurations and first of all we need to write the configuration for the ddl so that hibernate automatically update the database schema based on the entity definitions in our application and to do this we will write spring dot jpa dot hibernate dot ddl auto and for the value we will give this as update and after this we want to enable the sql logging in the console and to do this we will write spring dot jpa dot show sql and we will set this as true and with this our properties are completed now we need to create a new schema in workbench so let's open workbench and in the mysql workbench we will click on this icon to create a new schema and after this we need to give the schema name and we will give this as attendance underscore tracker and after this we will click on this apply button and after this we need to review the script which is create schema attendance underscore tracker now let's click on this apply button and as you can see we got a message sql script was successfully applied and now let's click on this finish button and as you can see we got our schema attendance underscore tracker now let's open this schema and as you can see for now we don't have any tables in it and now let's go back to our spring boot application and let's run this application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and in the logs we can see the sql connection was successful as well and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create user entity and after this we will create related classes like repository service and dto